Hello everybody, my name is Lee the Rogue Firefly, and I'm back with the Dreadx Collection, Part 3. If you haven't noticed something yet, this was all, all of these were recorded in one day. I am just really into this collection so far. I mean, even the last two I was really into, but I had to take breaks in between so it didn't feel, like, overdone. Um, but thanks so far, really good. Um... I guess we'll just go on and jump into the next one. This might be the last one I play today, but I might end up playing the seventh part, which will be um, this one, I believe. Soul, soul waste. But first, we will be playing Bella. Anyways, we'll jump into Big Amon 26. A Belligery Bittigris. Graveyard shift at the mysterious Bittigris Hotel has much to do and much to see. Let us enter this one. Let's go. Here we are with Better Grease. Oh, hello and welcome to the Better Grease Hotel. I'm the night manager, Palm. Uh, is this your first time working the night shift? Don't worry, the night shift is quiet and our work list is very simple. Let's see, first off, the vending machines break easily around here. Usually I just shake them a little and they turn back on. Don't tell my boss. Secondly, we should have an we should keep an eye out for any lost items guests have excellently left behind. And last of all, we should check the empty rooms. Housekeeping sometimes forgets to tidy a desk or clean a mirror. Uh-oh. Oh, oh uh, one more thing. I, uh, lost the key to the penthouse floors. <laughs> Help me, uh, keep a lookout for it. Thanks. And that's it. Let's get started. I have a feeling this is going to be a really fun night. Okay, WASD to walk. Action. Oh, I can actually, is it like, huh, uh, ease action, escape as many. I wonder what kind of game this is supposed to be based off. Obviously, a Japanese type game. And I think I have seen something like this, but I can't remember where. Oh, we found some toy dice. Okay. Can I go in the pew? go back to a job we didn't finish. Uh, yeah, let's go to the lower world. Let's check. Mm-hmm. 
Gonna keep running around, huh? Oh, we found a twig.
that she can be like, you weren't good at the sewing machine. <laughs> Or something along those lines. Final f main floor. No. I guess I can pick up several at a time.
because sacrifice is pretty bad and not cool. Night, but we got all <laughs> it all taken care of, didn't we? We make a good team, don't you think? Yes, thank you for taking care of those cultists. Hey, where are you going? in a lab studying what we thought was an alien mind virus. You can understand our confusion given the alien spacecraft wreckage in the sky. Then I got infected with it, tried to cure it, and for some reason didn't go through all those nasty mutations the rest of the infected person. And we got it. Well, yeah, I was here for all of that stuff. Who do you think set up that experiment in the house for? Someone without reality? I was wondering how someone with my voice knew when I was done with each tape. Maybe. That's what tipped you off that something wasn't right. Got the severed limbs everywhere. Oh God, no. There's severed limbs everywhere. Comes with the apartment. Okay, but the thing is... Why did you tell me the first place? Uh, it's a long story. Uh, Mama was a country girl with big city dreams, and Dad was a disenfranchised son of a local hurricane. They fell in with a group of secular sinful and got the heck out of Dodge. I grew up in a van traveling the continents, did the rebellious thing when I was 15, which for a traveler means going to school and getting an establishment plan. I wasn't any good at, at math or writing, but. I'm not really smart, just the path of least resistance. Followed that right into a job at the Department of Extraterrestrial Control. So you also didn't really have a choice then? You just kind of lived and fell into things? No, I wanted this. I mean, the DXC was a pretty obscure part of the I really only thought I'd be designing brain games to keep long haul astronauts safe. But still, it's important. I could not expect to be trapped in a box, hurtling across vast expanses with no way to escape. Then, when you know, all this started, I couldn't just move. If my work could help the people before, now it could save the whole world. I just wish the experiments weren't so gruesome. Was the pay at least nice? Oh, yeah. Clandestine employment bonuses are fantastic. By the way, did you really need to ask me that? Couldn't you have just uh, scanned my brain? Yeah, but I like it better this way. Boop. 
Well, now we got thunder. Thunder. So, since that game was so short, I guess I will play this other one uh, pretty soon. I mean, right after I'm done with this, that recording this episode, I'll go and record the seventh one. But, um, well, that was a short game, but I liked it. I like the style, it's very unique, something I haven't seen ever, maybe even in, maybe I have, but not in a long, long time, so, and I really like the style of it, um, the very pixelated, old school, early 2000s anime style, so, um, yeah, that was pretty nice, um, I thought I was actually gonna build up to something different, but, you know, I'm, I'm general, genu, generally satisfied with, um, what I got, so, it was pretty cool, so, um, I'm still dead, and, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in our next video, like, comment, subscribe, share with the people you, who you think might be interested in watching my channel, and I did not play this game, game played, game beat, game. I have not played this game, what are you talking about? Maybe it was in the... One of the PS... Um... Collections? P the haunted... Uh... PS1 collections, maybe? And it was thrown in this one, too. That would be a first, but, um... I don't think so, so I don't know why it uh, says I played this one. Kinda odd. Hmm. Anyways, I uh, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.